welcome back to another video so today if you haven't guessed already by the title i am dyeing my hair pink well it's not going to be bright pink it's going to be like a a deep ready kind of pink so for those of you who don't actually know um i do actually work in a hairdressers so I've actually got the products from the salon. It is actually a direct colour like this. Um, you usually put it in with whipped cream, like a mousse, and then the colour on top. But I haven't actually got any mousse with me. So I'm just using normal conditioner. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited. So obviously, because my hair is blonde on the ends, it's going to be the ends that are going to go pink. Obviously, my roots are brown, so... It's not going to work on them which is not going to touch it um this is only a semi-permanent it's not even semi-permanent it's a direct color so it only lasts about two to three washes maximum um so yeah so it's nothing permanent at all they've got all different colors they've got a lot of pink lilacs which are really pretty um for the summer so if you've got blonde hair then go check them out and um, make sure you check out the instagrams it's milkshake i think it's just called milkshake so what I'm going to do is, so basically, you need to do, put it on wet, clean hair. So I'm going to mix it all up now for you guys and show you what it's like. And then I'm going to go have a shower and I'm going to apply it on and show you what to do. But obviously, usually you'd have whipped mousse, but I'm going to use conditioner. So without any further ado, let's start dyeing my hair pink. Okay, so I've got, first of all, a hairdressing bowl. I didn't actually have a whisk to whisk it with, so I'm just using a, a clip. I'm just using some herbal essence conditioner, but you can do it with any conditioner. Okay, so I've had to use two different types of conditioner because um, I've run out of the herbal essence. I didn't want to use this one purely for the fact because it was orange. And obviously, I'm putting pink in, so... I just wanted to see the colour that I was making, if you know what I mean. So I've got about that much conditioner. I know that probably looks a bit disgusting, but I'm going to show you guys. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm going to put my eggplant in. So this is actually a bit burgundy. And the reason I've gone for this one is because my hair isn't bright blonde. So if I put pink in, you wouldn't see it as obvious. Whereas because this one's that bit darker, you'll be able to see it. So I'm just going to put about, about that much in and I can't really see very well. I'm just going to use my, actually I'm going to use the tip of this comb to mix it. Okay, so I've grabbed something else to mix it with, it's a bit random grabbed a eyebrow spoolie I'm just going to use the stick bit to stir it I'm just going to put a little bit more conditioner in just because I want to make sure that I've got enough okay so it looks like that now so quite deep and burgundy so because it needs to go on to wet hair, I'm now going to go get in the shower. So I'm actually going to take um, like all my makeup off, get in the shower, wash my hair and yes. So I'll see you back when I put my makeup on. Okay, so I've just brushed it all through. Oh my God. Brushing your hair without conditioner on is so difficult. I did not realise it was so hard. But I will. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've just had a shower. I literally look awful, but I will. Now I'm going to put the collagen mousse. I'm just going to chuck an old towel over me as well. Is that going to stay clipped together? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So, I'm going to put my gloves on because I'm not looking to get my fingers stained. Actually, it's so excited. So, I'm just going to take the top bit off. Section that away. These actually develop quite quickly. So, 
so once they're on they kind of do their job if you know what I mean so I'm just going to put a bit on my hand Okay, so I'm just going to leave it for like two minutes and I'm going to take it off. I'm probably going to fast forward what I've just done because I feel like I look like an idiot as I was putting it on. So I was trying so hard to not spill it everywhere. So, yeah. So I'll show you guys the after look. Hi guys, so it's currently the next morning. Um, I decided to let my hair dry naturally yesterday. And then I just went over with the one this morning. Um, so this is what it currently looks like. I actually love it. I feel like it's so cute, especially because it's balayaged. So it's quite nice and subtle, I think. I have missed out a couple of like, pieces like, up here. But um, no, I really like it. So I'm very happy with the results. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and turn the post bell notifications on and um, so you get notified every time that I post a video also make sure you check out my socials which I'll put on the screen now I've also just come on to TikTok so please go check that out guys make sure you stay safe for the rest of the time while you're in isolation and yes and I'll see you all very soon with another video thank you bye